you know, you're trying to imagine what would someone want at the end of their life, but it's not always about creating peaceful, quiet music. It's about bringing the music to them that connects them with their life and with who they are and their culture and what wakens their heart. Sam Barrington spends his days slowly perfecting his painting skills. It's a hobby he started after growing restless in retirement. So I went down to Walmart and bought me some paint and brushes and I went to the house and got some wood boards and started painting on them. And he's never stopped, even though a massive stroke six years ago severely slowed him down. Picking up a paintbrush gives Sam a creative outlet and a sense of purpose. His other passion is gospel music. But he never dreamed his favorite gospel group would play a private concert in his living room. Swan Songs made that dream a reality for Sam. The mission of the local nonprofit is providing musical last wishes. Landing the Chuck Wagon Gang was a long shot. They spend most of the year touring the country. But one Central Texas date was on their calendar, and they agreed to swing by Sam's house for a personal concert. Guess who we found for you? And I said, I don't know. And she said, the Chuck Wagon Gang. And I almost fell off my chair because I know how important they are to him. Uh, we've been married 20 years, and that's all he talks she about. Told and listens she to. was afraid to tell me. Yeah, because I was afraid he's going to have a heart attack. You know, here he is in his condition. I'm going to go tell him that his favorite rock star is coming to the house, not just coming, but to the house. Sam relished every minute of not only the music, but sharing his memories, too. This group has a rich history. Shea Smith's grandmother started the gang during the Depression, and several generations of singers have kept the music going. Well, he'd been listening to the gang since he was a small child. I think six years old, he started listening to the Chuck Wagon Gang. And, uh, and so similar to so many stories we hear from a lot of our senior citizens that uh, remember hearing the gang way back in the day on the radio or listening to record players and, and whatnot. And for Sam, some of these songs are much more real than, than we may realize, um, just as he is at this point in life um, experiencing what he's experiencing right now. I think the songs, I don't know, kind of become just alive. Our mission is really to bring uh, joy and comfort and connection uh, at the end of life. Musician Christine Albert started Swan Songs as a nonprofit in 2005. Families never pay and musicians are compensated for their time. In the past 15 years, more than a thousand concerts for terminally ill Central Texans have taken place. Live, in-home performances are at the heart of their mission, but the pandemic forced this group to pivot to virtual or outdoor concerts. This is a Zoom Swan Songs concert for Dr. Adrian Sorrell just a few days before he died of pancreatic cancer in early June. A music lover and former member of the Longhorn Band, Sorrell was a big Tower of Power fan. Bringing in Tower of Power wasn't possible, so Swan Songs asked renowned sax player Carlos Sosa to serenade Sorrell. He just went with it, and he not only called him up and talked and played a little sax, but he had, he has a studio. So he had Tower of Power music playing through his studio speakers and he played along with it. All right. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. I played that one wow. for memory. It's been a while. Oh, you did great, man. <laughs> Thank you. you. Did great. Oh, that was wonderful. Sam and Tilly had the good fortune of hosting a pre-pandemic concert in February with a house full of friends and family. 
it's as much for the the tribe around the person as it is for the recipient themselves because it gives everyone something to share and to focus on besides the illness at a time when that's really hard to do. Music has a unique way of connecting us and making us feel whole. Whether it's in person or virtual, the vision of these Swan Songs concerts is celebrating life and touching hearts through the gift of music. It reaches across boundaries that other things can't. Sometimes someone who is not open to, to talking about anything, asking for help in any way, shape, or form, will sit and listen to a song and, and glean something from it that's going to strengthen them or help them through. I uh, haven't never been a big shot, but I reckon one always wants to be one. And I was today when the truck wagon gang came to sing for me and some of my friends. 